Okay, welcome to this rubber stamp um, show and tell here. This is on the Page Sage, um, whatever, collection of DVDs. Now, I just have a few of them, but Page Sage was a production company that made um, kind of instructional, demonstrational um, DVDs on, I think they started off with stamping, but it goes into just kind of general crafting. And uh, this is by Suzanne Lamar, and she really filled a niche within the, um, the industry community. There were um, a few individuals and companies putting out instructional DVDs, but um, Page Sage really specialized in that. And uh, Suzanne really had a background of, uh, I don't know, know-how in terms of, uh, you know, all of the uh, like Adobe suite of, uh, you know, software and all that. And, you know, she really knew how to um, put DVDs together and all that type of production. So um, it was really great for the industry. But let's take a look at them. Uh, just just this is a quick kind of flip through of a few of the DVDs that they produced. But um, anyways, Art Unscripted, an artist retreat hosted by Carol Duvall. Showing these artists right below. I see Judy Watanabe of uh, Judykins right here. And um, anyways, they go into, it looks like they go into different types of things in this one. Paper sculpture, stamp charms, polymer clay, metal embossing, carving stamps, ATC cards with Mary Jo McGraw, Blizzard book with uh, Karen Elaine Thomas, and they have a gallery on here. But um, anyways, just a really fantastic thing having this type of you know, level of production in the, uh, the stamping community um, back in the day. Page Sage is no longer around, um, and neither is the website, but I, I just took a brief look and I saw Susanna on uh, like LinkedIn and uh, a couple other sites. Uh, you know, talking about um, other things that she's been up to since then. Page Sage, an altered journey with Tim Holtz. Let's see if we can find a date on here. Um, I don't see any date. I'm not quite sure when the heyday of this was, but I'd see her at um, the different, I think the stamp conventions, but I also started seeing her at places like um, CHA, the Craft and Hobby Association show. And uh, she has a few, she, she, she was very familiar, familiar with um, Stampscape. She has a few pieces in the Stampscapes gallery, but, um, and it, it, she and I talked about, she would mention, you know, yeah, we ought to, you know, we should do something sometime, um, you know, as far as her, her uh, productions went. But um, I always felt that, uh, uh, Stampscapes wasn't really the thing, you know, because we were a real kind of niche company and niche genre within rubber stamping. But it would have been cool to do something. But, you know what I mean? Tim Holtz, you know, gets a, a much wider kind of audience, you know what I mean? And, you know, of course, I want her to do really well with her um, with her production. So um, we just never uh, did anything along those lines right there. But uh, it was great to have her out there. Um, and if I didn't mention it before, I mean, it really filled a niche to have this level of kind of uh, production uh, quality um, within the, uh, the community. So exploring art materials, how to get more from what you already have with Mary Jo McGraw right here. And Mary Jo had um, different uh, books out there, if you don't know her. Um, I think Mary Jo, I, I think the way she got started was um, she was saying that she started um, with her teaching. I think she was teaching for Judykins or something like that originally, but then she would teach. But then she started teaching for a lot of different companies because a lot of companies um, kind of just produced the stamps and didn't really use them or you know, maybe have the background of knowledge in terms of different media on how to use it. So she would do um, samples um, for those other companies. And I think she they uh, she was probably demonstrating at um, those HIA or CHA shows, and that's how she got her um, different um, book uh, contracts lined up. So I, it's several books out there, but uh, always, it was always great seeing uh, Mary Jo around. Um, 
and she's like on Facebook. I, I, um, I am her not uh, too long ago. <laughs> I was mentioned or something that she, she had mentioned that was really, uh, cracking me up. And that was one of the classes she had taken from someone else called Full Metal Jacket. And she was mentioning how loud it was like having, I don't know, like 20 people hammering away with these hammers, um, like driving, driving in like these rivets into these, this like metal, um, like book binding class or something like that. All right. Fabric Dabra material magic with Sandra McCall. Um, I know the name Sandra McCall, but I, I, I don't remember, um, what she did, but, uh, you can see this production right here, just this beautiful kind of layout right here going into, um, you know, what is covered in this, um, DVD right here, velvet scarves, um, embellished ensemble, painted muslin, tiny tomes, fabric beads, simply, simple, simply satchels and fabric charms. Pretty cool. I don't know if any of these, um, types of productions are on, um, you know, uh, YouTube here, you can check it out. I don't know, maybe check out page sage or something like that. I don't, I don't know if someone has, um, uploaded them to, um, YouTube. I didn't check, uh, on something like that, but here's a, uh, a, a whole, um, DVD with the uh, Judy, um, Watanabe from again, Judy Kins goes into projects, solids, colors, powders, masks, backgrounds, resists, folds, windows, and pops. I, don't know, I guess you're popping up things, uh, making it 3D from the background, I'm guessing. Um, let's see here. Millie Fiori story. Uh, is that the way you pronounce it? I don't know how you pronounce it. Creating polymer clay canes with Judy Belcher. Okay, so canes are those, aren't those those long pieces and then you kind of roll them out and then cut them like that for beads like out of Fimo or something? Yeah, it's polymer clay. I think that's that thing. And then, or these longer pieces, then you slice them uh, to create the individual beads. That's pretty cool. I don't know, are people still doing that? Um, that was a pretty cool um, technique. All right, stamp art inspirations again with Mary Jo. Let me see what that other one was here. That was exploring art materials with Mary Jo. Stamping art inspirations. Uh, ink basics, glazing with glue, quick collage, collage veneer, glazed metallics, faux fresco, Catalina tiles, quick cards, heirloom cards, and mini books. Pretty cool stuff. Mastering marbling with Peggy Skycraft. Um, elegant paper and fabric. So you go into uh, different techniques as far as that goes. I think some of these DVDs are available. I just checked out like on eBay, you know, when I was doing a, a search for uh, Suzanne and uh, some of these um, DVDs are up on um, uh, eBay. You might find them other places. I don't know if uh, like Suzanne would still have some of these, you know, if anyone was interested, you can probably get a hold of her somehow, maybe on Facebook or something like that. Folded beyond traditional origami. Greeting cards, books, boxes, and more by Karen Thomas. Uh, let's see. Fold it. Folding 101. Paper finishes, envelopes, pop up book, sliding box, folded box, gift bag, little kimono, folded shoes. Folded earrings, crane card, accordion book, signature book, house book. Um, uh, different types of projects in here. Pretty cool. When I look at this, I haven't played, played these in a really long time. But when I look at this, it's like, oh, man, I should have, I should have, um, 
pop some of these into the DVD player when my uh, kid was younger. Um, I don't know. Maybe he'd want to do it these days at 18. I don't know. <laughs> but I remember he did uh, want to get into uh, a little bit of uh, origami um, when he was younger, you know, like for a day. <laughs> but I think I did have some book on it or something like that. But these days, I don't know, people just kind of bring up something on uh, Instagram or um, YouTube or something like that. But uh, this is probably a little bit more instructional, maybe, you know, in terms of a step-by-step -step type of process where you can pause or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. But anyways, that's the Page Sage uh, DVDs that I have right here. Um, again, it was really cool having a, this level of uh, kind of production quality within the, uh, the, uh, the arts and crafting world, paper arts, you know, and uh, she really filled the niche. And uh, I don't know, it was just invaluable types of uh, instructional material for those that had access to um, like conventions in their area where they can see a lot of these techniques being done. But they can also, you know what I mean? Uh, when you learned a lot of these techniques, um, when these were being produced, when you got home, I don't know if you'd remember how to do it, or, you know, you can go take workshops on how to do all, you know, a lot of these various things here, but, um, you know, it, it was especially valuable for those that didn't have access to maybe live demonstrations or your local, you know, local stamp store where they would do, um, you know, showcase these types of uh, processes and uh, materials and techniques. So, um, just great stuff and, uh, you know, big thanks to uh, Suzanne um, for her uh, work and expertise and uh, so glad that, uh, you know, she uh, was interested in uh, rubber stamping, you know, to, uh, to think of uh, creating this company and producing these uh, types of uh, materials for all of us. Okay, so anyways, thanks for watching and thanks as always for tuning into the channel.